Python is one of the most popular programming languages. It was created by Guido van Rossum and named after Monty Python's Flying Circus. But why do we choose Python over all the other programming languages? One reason is its simple syntax, which is very close to the English language, making it fairly easy to read and write. So for example, if we want to display or print the elements of a list, we could write the instruction for every element in a list, we print the element. And we can already see that our editor is highlighting certain words, namely the important words for Python. So to convert this into working Python code, we remove the every, the a, and the. We add a line break after the colon, and because print is a function, we add brackets. And then finally, we actually specify a list. So let's say one, two, three, and then we have working Python code. Here we can see the same code, but written in C. And it's more distant to the English language, making it harder to learn for beginners. Python also comes with a good documentation. Note, however, that especially in the beginning, you'll not be able to make great use of the documentation. That's because the documentation will tell you, for example, all about a specific function. This can be useful if you have already heard about the function, but lack some details. In the beginning, however, you will not be looking for any details, but rather in general for a function that does the thing you want. And this ties into the next thing that makes Python great, namely its large user base and great community. Because if we are now, for example, looking for a function that let's say reverses a list, then we can just Google that. And then there's a high chance someone else had the exact same question. So we will find some Stack Overflow posts and there we can then find our answer. With Python's large community also comes a great ecosystem, giving us access to various tools that help us with whatever we're trying to achieve. So for example, if we want to perform mathematical operations at a large scale, we can use NumPy. If we want to analyze data, we can use Pandas. And if we want to visualize our data, we could use matplotlib. All these tools are libraries and they're essentially code written by other people that we can import into our own code and then use. The amazing ecosystem enables Python to be a multi-purpose language. So besides analyzing and visualizing data, we can also do, for example, machine learning with libraries such as TensorFlow or PyTorch. Going outside of the data science field, we can also use Python for scripting. So we write scripts that automate boring tasks such as replying to emails, renaming files, or filling out PDFs. Python can also be used for handling the backend in web development. So for example, sending data to and from servers. Beyond these core applications, there's a lot more you can do with Python. And when browsing through the internet, it is very likely that you will encounter one or another of these applications. So to summarize, Python is easy to learn, it has an amazing community, and we can do basically everything with it. And so now you may ask, are there any downsides to it? And yes, one of the main downsides is that it's slow. So executing Python code is slower than, for example, executing C code. If you're interested in why that is, you can check out some resources below. The important thing for us is that we can get around all that by utilizing libraries that are written in C which are, for example, NumPy and Pandas. It should also be noted that when we talk about Python being slow, that does not mean we have to wait seconds or minutes for our code to run. Here we can see Python generating prime numbers to give you some intuition about its speed. So if we feel like our code is slow, then it's very likely our fault and not the fault of Python. 